unaided eye is a powerful observational tool. start with atoms and you have multiple atoms that come together to form a molecule and then you have multiple molecules that come together and they form a larger macromolecule, maybe a polymer chain of small molecules. Then those molecules can assemble into sheets, multiple chains can form into sheets and the sheets can form into three-dimensional structures and those structures can exhibit much more complex behavior. In working with the Center for Chemical Evolution, we discover this fascinating research that they're working on, where what they're discovering is that the traditional idea of the Darwinian theory, that it's the survival of the fittest, isn't exactly true. That what's true at a molecular level, and that translates into a human level, it translates into ecosystems, it translates into the way the planets work, is that it's the most diverse group that is the fittest, and that therefore survives. When you have a diverse set of molecules and you put them all together, they can assemble and create much more complicated behavior. This is true in biological systems as well. It's also true in groups of people, that if you have different types of molecules, different types of people, you can get much greater complexity, like a person or like a community or an entire ecosystem. Once they become public knowledge, once those ideas spread out into the public mind, are going to transform the way that we think about ourselves as humans.